All right, so 6.5 is solving exponential equations. And so the, the biggest thing that needs to happen is the bases need to be the same. So the base is like the thing that the exponent is attached to. So um, if you had 3 to x plus 1 equals 3 to the fourth power, the threes are the bases. And since they're the same, it's a really easy problem, you just make the exponents equal and we're done okay so it doesn't matter like what um, is in the you know exponents just, oh, the bases are the same, so I'm going to write that. And then on this one, I would subtract x, and we get x equals 5. Okay, so really simple when the bases are the same. So then it becomes a little bit more challenging um, when you know, like these two problems where you just take the exponents and make them equal, then the same. Okay, so, um, you know, kind of a more simple one. So, in order to solve, like, for the x, I have to have, like, this has a base of a 5, so I need to have that the 125 and need to change it so it has a base of a 5. So kind of what you want to test out is can I do 5 to the something power and and that's and then get 125. So 5 to the third power is 125. And so then when you do the bases there's nothing really to solve it's just 3. Okay, so you can use um, okay, you can use the fact that like okay, this one has a two as the base, so can I make the eight into two to the something power? And then at least you're targeted where you're not just trying to, well, change it. Well, how? I don't know. Well, at least you have like a target where, well, it's got to be 2 to the something power. And so we end up getting 2 to the third power. And then we can make the bases the same. And I get x equals negative 1. Okay, so... Start with like the smaller number, five on the top one, two on this one, and say, can I do that to the you know to some power, and then the bases will be the same. Okay, um, the hardest version of the problem, the hardest type rather, is not only like well, let me finish writing okay so I look at 9 can I do 29 to the something power and get 27 well no I can't <coughs> because 9 to the second power is 81 9 to the first power is 9 so 27 doesn't like work so what I need to do is then come back to the 9 and how else could I write a 9 using an exponent? And it's kind of like do the square root. A lot of times if you do the square root, that'll help. So I could write 9 as 3 to the second power. 
square root of 9 is 3. And I'm not going to just write 3, but I'd have to write 3 to the second power because that makes 9. But I still have the x plus 2. Okay, so you got to put that in parentheses. Okay, now can I do 3 to the something power and get 27? Well, yes, I can. I can do 3 to the third power, but I still have an x. Okay, so then the two exponents are like that. And so you're going to have to, on these ones, sometimes the solving is a little bit more work. So we have to distribute, and then we end up with x equals 4. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so definitely more difficult when we do like those, okay? So... Um, let's look at another one. There will be four problems where it'll be like these on the left, where they're different, but the one base, like the five and the two, stays the same, and then you change the other one. So then there's four of those. So that makes eight, and then the last two, you'll have to change both of the bases. Okay, and honestly... One of them has 9 and 27, um, like that. So if we had something like that. So um, these, depending on the numbers, could get a little bit like more challenging, but um, you know, so start with this, okay, 16. Can I do 16 to the something power and make 64? No, because 16 to the second power is like 289 or something crazy like that. It's, it's high. Um, so, um, so then I would start with like, well, do the square root of 16 which is four to the second power. And then I'd have x plus two. Okay, and then, um, you know, and if you wanted to like distribute and say, okay, four to the two x plus four, you could do that. Like there's no rule that says you have to wait till later to do that. Okay, and then like, can I do four to the something power um, and make uh, 64, and yeah, I can do 4 to the, I'm going to do it up here, 4 to the third power, but then I have x minus 6. Okay, and then I could distribute that. And I get 3x minus 18. Okay. Then now the fours are the bases are the same, so I do two x plus four equals three x minus eighteen. Then I gotta solve this one. So whenever I have x's on both sides, I do move the smaller x first. Two is smaller than three. And then add 18. So there's a couple at the end of your, you're not going to do that many. It's just uh, 10 problems today. Um, and I think, you know, there's four of them where the bases are the same at the beginning. Those should be really simple. Um, they'll be... And one of them has 16 and 64. So you have a model to use to do those problems. Okay, and those are the hardest two. All right, so just 10 problems, 3 through 12, <coughs> excuse me, um, on page 329. But the assignment's written in Canvas, so you can just copy it from there. Okay? All right.
just try these. I'm sure you'll get some of them right, and then we can go over some others if, if we need to. Okay, have a great Friday, great weekend, and we'll see you on Monday.